Uh, there's right today I did a bit of clearing up rubbish and I just want to show you a little bit about how they use this tool. This is a modern bill hook. This I believe is made in France. It's uh, uh, Ariette there. A R I E T E. And uh, it's a beautiful piece of work. As you can see, uh, the blade is quite thin. But if you can see at uh, some degree, uh, you can see the angle there. It's very thin, it's not a uh, tapered, sort of sharp, a short sharp edge, very smooth. Um, I think it's three mil it's about three millimetres thick. Very, it's mainly straight and long, very radical uh, curve at the end. That looks a bit like a, a, a duck's head, doesn't it? It's a little hole there, you can hang it up from a hook. The handle is uh, very clever. Instead of being wood, it's made of little strips of leather stuck together and there's a little protection here. The, the tang uh, has got a safety guard in it so that uh, it's very unlikely to slip away from you and that's a great design feature. I had a wooden bill hook which uh, the, a wooden handle which cracked and that's a real pain if that happens. This won't crack uh, so that's really good. One thing I'm going to do uh, is um, grind this little section down here to be blunt. This is a small danger with this because I've got a big hand. I've got a sort of small risk of cutting myself. Anyway, let's do a little bit of work. Uh, what I've been doing with this hook uh, has been um, uh, splitting up, tidying up these um, long bits of wood which are being removed from the hedge. This is willow. Willow is lighter than most of the other materials. Actually, willow is not really um, a suitable material for growing in hedges. Uh, it, it just isn't the right habit of growth. A little willow over there. I'll save it all that willow on another occasion. I'm trying to keep these videos focused. And avoid rambling too much. Anyway, here been basically tidying up some of this stuff. Uh, these are um, bits which you may not think much of them but this is an inch thick, an inch and more thick which will be cut up into the right length to just fit into our wood burning stove. It'll be stacked somewhere dry and next winter we will warm our home with it just as this winter we are warming our home with uh, wood that we removed in earlier years. Hedgerows are planted as a barrier, uh, but they um, produce a lot of wood management of hedgerows, what's are established to a large extent, involves uh, removing, that's about right, and removing wood, you will do something with it. I'm uh, dividing this up into two lots. This is uh, thinner bits, which we're piling this up high, let the air through it, it'll dry and we'll burn it where it stands and the ash we put into bags and stored dry and then thrown around the, uh, the roots of the, the trees, it's got potassium in it. Okay right and this is uh, basically what I'm doing, I'm processing uh, so processing these uh, big bits of wood and uh, this, this is the right tool for the job, in my opinion. This is a modern design of Bill Hook, and many designs of Bill Hook. Uh, I've tried a few of them. This particular tool is in my category. If I lost it, I'd have to get another one the same. And in fact, we have bought a spare. We like doing that, because occasionally, you know, I lose something or misplace it. And, uh, if you, can, you can pick pick one up with this, so if you're bending down so much. It's almost, I know it's an old cliche, but it's almost like a, an extension to the uh, uh, arm. Where's that bit of... Uh, it's pretty ideal. Like any tool, you get the you get the feel of it. 
with tools, there are several golden rules. One is get the right tool for the job. And if you possibly can, even if it involves spending quite a lot of money, do, you know, spend a bit more for the right tool. Uh, you know, if you try to save money on the wrong tool, you'll never be really happy with it. Old John Seymour said, Buy the best tools you can and uh, look after them. I think that's a, a good maxim. You saw how quick this um, blade went through the uh, wood. This is willow. It's uh, not very resistant to the blade. Hawthorn is much harder. Uh, hazel is sort of intermediate. So this is uh, uh, you know, quite boring work in many ways, but hey, I need the exercise. I think it's very good to get outdoors. A little bit of a health advice. Uh, I'm not in the best shape I could be in, right? Uh, better for me to be getting a little exercise out here than uh, be paying to be in a, a gymnasium and consuming electricity uh, on a treadmill or whatever. So why not do some exercise that's useful? But uh, uh, getting outdoors in the winter, I think it's very good for the mental health as well as physical. Um, I worked as a family doctor for many years, part of my life is now behind me, uh, but uh, uh, I worked in a council estate, what you call a project in the United States, and we did have a lot of tower blocks, you can see them on Google, you can see them on Google Earth, if you put Weston, Western Shore, W-E-S-T-O-N, Southampton, and you can see the tower blocks I used to uh, work in when I've detoxified myself mentally enough I uh, may well write uh, an autobiography or rather a novel an autobiographic novel uh, mixing invention with uh, actuality but in the years, nearly two decades I worked there the single biggest reason that the, the single most frequent reason why people consulted the family doctor was uh, a complaint of depression. A depressed doctor, you've got to give me something. Uh, very sad, very long story. Um, but anyway, there is no doubt that uh, seasonal affective disorder, SAD, uh, that's the issue of um, being depressed uh, more in the winter because of low light levels. Uh, is a reality and getting out of doors is uh, definitely helpful even in bad weather on a day like this there's no doubt in my mind no doubt whatsoever uh, I say it's not just as a man who gets a bit down sometimes but having uh, worked uh, as a doctor for or nearly 30, 30 years altogether, 33 years uh, most of which has a family doctor on a, a housing estate uh, that uh, spending too much time indoors spending too much time watching the television uh, or indeed a computer is uh, a contributory factor to uh, depression and getting outdoors having a healthy physical job to do uh, is um, positively beneficial I have no doubt about that oh, got spines on this horrible stuff there's a number of different sort of blows that you strokes that you make with this uh, no, oh, this sort of stroke here is sort of slow measured short and above all safe I don't want to cut myself yeah that took a few more strokes than usual it came off Another stroke is a sort of sliding stroke along the branch. I'm moving all these 
spines. This might seem a bit meticulous at nitpicking. Here is rather stronger stroke. You see that's safe, I can swing that quite hard. Uh, you might think I'm going to a lot of trouble here, but look, I've got this wood out of the hedge. It has to be removed to keep the hedge in a manageable condition. Um, we can either pile this up to let it rot, or we can pile it all up to burn it, or we can carefully select out the uh, bits which are big enough to be worth having and uh, dry them and use them as fuel to warm our home and save, our, save on our uh, fuel bill. And I'm getting some useful, I mean this bit's debatable whether this is worth having, I'm going to do this anyway for the sake of a demonstration. Um, uh, but it's, um, I need the exercise and you know, if it wasn't this, it would maybe be um, a stationary bicycle. Hmm, that's a fitting. How am I going to cut that off safely with the hook? Not very easily. How about this? No, I can't get a swing there. Uh, <laughs> that was enough. All right. That's just the thinnest I'd possibly bother with. I mean, you, do, you do need a bit of thin wood to get your fire lit. Just uh, taking the uh, thorns off. Good little tool, anyway. Uh, yeah, the modern bill hook. Uh, I think this is French made. I'll uh, see what some research. Um, I bought this all years ago. Uh, might be better if this had a little bit of copper here, uh, rather than this leather. But oh well, hasn't let me down. It's a beautiful piece of work. Keep it sharp. Keep it safe.